welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as secure fine grained encrypted keyword search for e-healthcare cloud so which is an IEEE transaction on dependable and secure computing 2021 paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about the project so this project is about he health care system so in the e health care system uh, this project is providing a enhanced security for the patient's data records so the authors are mentioned that in the existing systems they have used abe that is attribute based encryption but most of the existing attribute base schemes has a privacy leakage so for that purpose these authors have proposed the efficient hidden policy attribute base scheme with keyword search so now let us see the execution now let us see the system model so we can understand easily so here you can see the sensor and the patients so here as we are using only the software we are not going to use any physical hardware so instead of this sensor the patient will be uploading their data into the cloud server so in real system the sensors will automatically predict the detail from the patient and then it will upload but as we are using the software based project so here we will not be using any kind of hardware or sensors so only with the software we are going to deal with it so instead the patient is going to enter the details manually and upload in the cloud server and here other entity is the doctor so doctors will be available to accessing the cloud centers and here you can see the entity trusted authority so there is four entities that is trusted authority patients doctors and cloud center and here you can see a concept of submit search token so this makes the differentiate between the existing and the proposed system so in existing systems the doctors or the entity can able to search the data record from the cloud and then after that there will be some kind of security to accessing the file but here even searching from the cloud center has some access policy and also some security so this is like a three tier security for securing the data that is the PHS public patient health records in the cloud server and here you can see the entities and their functionality that is structure authorities patient doctors and the cloud servers now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in NetBeans 8.2 so kindly open NetBeans 8.2 and go to file menu and click open project and now go to the project source code location and then click open project now kindly wait till the complete project is loaded here in the NetBeans and this progress board should be completed meanwhile we will attach the database in the MySQL so let me go to the MySQL administrator go to restore option click open backup file go to the project location go to the database folder and select the database and click start restore now you can see the restoration operation was finished successfully and click close and now before executing the project make sure that you need to turn off your antivirus and firewall temporarily because if this antivirus or firewall is not turned off then you will not receive the emails so email sending options will be blocked and you will not receive any emails for the keys so i have turned off my antivirus and firewall temporarily now coming back to the netbeans you can see the project is loaded into the netbeans now just click right click it and select run and now kindly wait till the project is transferred to the browser part
and now you can see the welcome screen or home screen of the project with the project title secure fine grain encrypted keyword search for e healthcare cloud and this is the abstract that is mentioned as per in the base paper and now you can see the entities patient doctor trusted authority and the cloud so first let me go to the patient part so as i am a new patient let me go for the registration part first so this is the patient registration details so let me enter the patient details and after entering their patient details you need to click sign up and here you can see the registration is success and click ok and now let me go to the patient login details and can enter the login credentials which we are used during the registration part and click login and the login is successful and click ok and now you can see the welcome screen of the patient so the patient has the options of uploading the file my file downloaded files and log out first let me go to the upload file option so before uploading the file let me create a file in the d drive so for say example let me create as jayaprakash health let me save like this so let me enter some content you can enter any content So let me enter some content and save it now here let me enter the details so here you can see the name and age is automatically taken from the registration part now next part is like access policy to the department so now the patient need to select the department to because in the hospital there may be several doctors and several doctors belongs to different departments so if they need to select the special department which department this file should be this, to which doctor to, they should be transmitted so for that purpose this mode has been done so once if they select cardiology only the cardiology doctors can able to view this patient details so they cannot able to other people cannot able to search the file or get the details other doctors cannot able to do it so let me select cardiology and let me enter some heart rate value pp value height weight blood pressure sugar value and now you can choose the file that we have created in the d drive and now you, you can preview the file that has been uh, up selected and now you can upload the file and now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and if you go to my files you can see the file that has been uploaded and here you can see the file id the file name the access department uploaded time you can see 21 7 2021 820 and the key and uh, as this is consists of the cloud e healthcare cloud so we should use any cloud service to upload the file so for that purpose we have used drive hq so drive hq is a cloud service provider that we have used so let me show you the cloud part so after logged in now you can see the file name jayaprakash health.txt which this is the file that we have uploaded you can see the date and time 21 7 2021 8 20 that is the time that we have uploaded once if you click it you cannot able to view the contents the contents will be in an encrypted form for the security purpose so that the intermediates or hackers cannot able to view the file and the privacy is maintained so now let me sign out from this drive hq part so this drive hq part is shown that it is made sure that the file has been uploaded in the cloud service okay now in the downloaded files you can see this is empty because still no one has downloaded the files so now let me log out from this patient part next let me go to the doctor part 
so i will create a new uh, registration for the doctor so let me enter the detail as ajit for example i'll take it so let me create some other email id so here in the medical department you need to select the department and only those department patient details you can able to view and click sign up and the registration is success now and once the registration is success let me log in with the doctor login which we have used during the registration part and click login you can see the login has failed the reason is like the doctor should get approved from the trust authority so let me go to the trust authority part now so this is the trust authority login so let me log in with the trust authority username and password and once the login is success you can see the welcome screen for the trust authority and in the trust authority you can go to the doctor details so here in the doctor details you can see the name ajit which is created right now with the email id and here you can see the status has been waiting it is not approved only if the trust authority up is approved the doctors they the doctors can able to log in or else they cannot able to log in so let me approve this now you can see this doctor has been approved and here the status has also been uh, updated as approved now let me log out from this part now let me go to the doctor part again so let me enter the details that we have used during the registration and log in and now you can see the login is successful and click okay and now you can see the welcome screen of the doctor and here you can see the details of get search token search requested files and log out so as intimated earlier so this part is the contribution made this is the this is secured uh, security and made from the existing one that is some submitting the search token so once after receiving the search token only the doctor able to search for the files or else they could not able to search any files so here you can see the search token so the he cannot able to enter some man some random values and they cannot able to search for it let me show you so here you can see it is incorrect search token so they cannot able to search for any files in the cloud that is available so first they need to get a search token and let me show you that process now so get token click the button get token so now you can see the it is the success and you need to go to your email to check it and here you can see the file search token so you need to use this search token for searching the files so let me go enter the search token now enter the patient details and click search and now you can see the search result of this patient okay so once if this doctor needs to access this file they need to make a request so if you go to the requested files you can see the requested files has been updated here and once if you click download it asks for the this you can see the status is waiting so once if it is been approved only you can see the access is not been approved so once if it is been approved only this doctor can able to view the file so this is an enhancement of the security more security made from the existing one so let me log out from this part so now go to the trust authority part so in the trust authority form you got to go to file request so in the file request you can see the request that are all been sent so here you can see the doctor name ajit and the file name the patient name the card department and you can see the status has been waiting on the requested date and time and now the trust authority is the entity which gives the access for the file so let me give approve and now you can see the file has been approved so the status also have been updated as been approved so let me log out from this part now go to the doctor part again
so now you can go to requested files so in the requested files you can see now the status is been approved so only after the status is been approved you can able to decrypt the file or else you cannot able to decrypt the file so let me click download so now you can see the file this part is navigated to the download file option before that it was in waiting stage so it is not navigated to this pair this part now you can enter the secret key so for the secret key again you wanted to go to your email and here you can see your phr access request has been approved and the secret key to access and you need to enter this secret key here and click download and now you can see the details of the this patient with the name age and the other details of the electronic health record and if you wanted to download it just click download and here let me save with the desktop part and now you can see the file details now let me log out from this part doctor part in the trust authority the other details are like uh, we have seen the doctor details and file request and other details like patient details are also been updated in the trusted details and in the file request as we have shown this one earlier and let me log out from this part let me go to the cloud part now so after entering the cloud login credentials you can able to see the welcome screen for the cloud server and here you can see the options of cloud files so here you can see the file that is available in the cloud what are the files that is uploaded the file id patient name file name uploaded date and time is available and you can see the patient detail the cloud can able to see the patient details and doctor details who are all available here and the final is the graph part so this graph part this graph is a dynamic graph this is not a static graph this varies according to the file that you are uploading and you are going to download and uh, you can do it so accordingly it will be changing so here you can see the average encryption time and average decryption time and also you can able to store this data export this data as jpeg and now you can see the exported result also and this will be changed according to the file that you are uploading and downloading and this is all about the project secure fine grain encrypted keyword search for electronic healthcare record cloud and thank you for watching